and welcome to Advantage One RV, everybody. My name is Josh, and no, I'm not trying to be Mr. Joe Cool with these sunglasses. I have got a splitting headache, and I'm basically staring directly into the sun. And if I wanted to get this done today, uh, something had to give. I prefer to have a little more human contact, but uh, today, that's just off the table. That's not why you're here, though. Never mind all that. This is why we're here. Only 3,085 pounds, double Asdell. This is what I call a Generation 1 Geo Pro. This was uh, like when they first came out. This is what they look like here. And this looks like it just came off the factory production line still. And it ain't because they didn't use it. Actually, the folks used it a lot. They used it so much that they just decided, next year we'll get something bigger. That's the only reason this thing's here. It's treated them very well, and they've treated it even better. And I love seeing these things come through. I kind of forgot about the original kind of brown interior decor on these. And it's funny, everything is cyclical. At the time this first came out, the industry had been doing browns for way too long, and I was kind of burned out on it. And right now, it's funny because like when the farmhouse look uh, came out on a lot of the newer campers, man, I was all about it. And I won't lie, I think it still looks good. I feel like I'm experiencing a little bit of farmhouse fatigue in the new RV market. And just that classic, rich, warm look like this. It's kind of starting to really speak to me once again. Now, uh, the idea behind these when GeoPro came out was to be something that was high class and lightweight. And uh, the, the cabinetry in here, I actually like almost the minimal, uh, I can't even talk, minimalism of it. It's all just simple. It's just, it's just flat. It just works. You know, it just has to work. Um, and there's a couple simple but smart upgrades the previous owners put in this. Like they swapped out the original factory back break and wafer a death mattress and put themselves in a nice, thick memory foam bed in here. That is, uh, that's fantastic over there. Now this TV is actually, it's interesting. The TV is a uh, household powered or 110 powered uh, combo TV. So if you want to use it off grid, you can with an integrated DVD player. But what's interesting is during this generation, Rockwood was actually still including not just a stereo, but an actual DVD player unit up here. Um, I mentioned the little upgrades. I, the, the mattress is one. And when I say upgrades, it's just tiny non-invasive stuff. Like they just added a couple command hooks, little storage pockets right there. Nothing major, nothing that was going to like reshape the landscape or anything like that. Just something to just make your camping experience better, simpler, and easier. Now it's not incredibly obvious, but if you look up inside this cabinet, there's like a, a little metal vertical thing looking at us right there. That is actually uh, uh, like a clothes hanging mini rack uh, because you see those little white jobs in there. Uh, that is not actually the, the floor of the cabinet. Those are shelves that the folks took down. That is a either, you could say, pantry space or a closet. A little bit of whatever you want it to be. Now, if we take a look over here, over into the kitchen, uh, that is an, a large gas oven, which actually would have been another option on this camper. Uh, originally, this uh, the standard base model on this would be no oven, so they had this built uh, with the roof air, the tongue mount bike rack, and the uh, um, roof, or, or pardon me, the oven that we're looking at. I'm telling you guys, I got a headache and I'm struggling. But down there, I'm telling you, if you got a little dog or a cat, that's a perfect little place for uh, pet dishes and things like that. A couple giant drawers right there, so you can have more than just the forks, spoons, and knives with you. And the cabinetry looks simple, but notice how it's like all strutted. It's all easy access. Now, when this was made, uh, it was uh, before they had adopted 12-volt refrigerators very commonly in the RV industry. So this is a gas electric two-way fridge, which, frankly, if you plan to uh, adopt a more boondocking lifestyle, you want to add some solar to this. You see that black sticker on the wall over there? That is kind of indicating for you where you could locate a uh, charge controller. And there is a roof solar prep plug on the roof of this. And that two-way fridge is uh, a little more uh battery friendly when it's on propane mode i discovered the original factory dinofa table was still hanging out there behind the sofa and of course that thing can fold down into a little guest sleeper good for maybe a you know one of the littles like a grandkid or a big dog 
And then just getting all that out of the way, putting her back in sofa lounge mode. And, and again, look at the soft goods. Look how it's not all torn up and broken down. You don't see where they've worn in butt buckets into the sofa seating over there. But well, we are carpetless, ventless flooring, although they did throw down a couple little floor mats. But with that slide open, it's not a big deep slide, but it makes a heck of a difference. And we will see that thing in travel and road mode uh, in just a minute here, if you hang tight with me. Big vent fan up top, too, which really promotes some superior airflow in this thing. Uh, the uh, RV has a 6'1 sidewall and then a 6.5 foot uh, ceiling at the apex of that double vault. It's actually two miniature roof sections that are all laminated and aluminum framed that kind of meet up and marry in the middle. It's something a little bit different you don't see every day, but it works. It works really well. It's the way they've always built Geo Pros. It's the way they continue to build them today because once you find something that works, you know, you don't need to go reinventing the wheel. And this is one of the better parts of this floor plan. It doesn't even need the slide. It's just, it's really nice that you have the slide because you can access 100% of everything with that slide out closed. And I'm telling you, uh, these big fans up here, man, they, they just, they provide just sweet, sweet airflow. Kind of sounds like a lead in for that diet Dr. Pepper guy. Little sweet, loving the airflow. <laughs> Don't sue me. I am just so impressed with the, uh, the cleanliness of this thing inside and out. One of the nice things about little trailers like this, it's a lot easier to like store them inside a barn or a big garage maybe. And I don't know if that's what they did or not, or maybe they just had it under a little lean to, but buddy, this is sharp. This is good looking. You see, it's got the, uh, there, there's two things on here that uh, are options. The rest of this is a standard model. Like you look up top, you see that low profile 13,500 BTU air keeping us cool. And then on front, you've got the uh, tongue mount bike rack right there. Uh, other than that, this is an original stock model. Well, I mean, it's it's an original stock model. They didn't add that stuff after the fact. You know what I mean. I'm sorry. Sometimes I say stupid things. Whatever. Let's uh, very hard segue into that front storage compartment, shall we? Because this is surprisingly large. It is actually a full true pass-through, not just like a little side compartment. And inside here, you're going to see an RVQ grill as well as a little side prep shelf that you can mount on the side of the trailer. That would actually be located uh, right over here just above the tire. That's that black horizontal line you're looking at there. Just in front of the tire, there's a gas grill uh, quick connect, or as I like to call it, the old propane cooker hooker. And I just spotted something. These folks slid in here very slick like. They were a member of Pros on the Go. That's a little uh, Rockwood Geo Pro or Flagstaff E Pro, which are, if you weren't aware, literally the exact same identical camper. Uh, they, the same factory, just builds the same products under two different names, Rockwood and Flagstaff. Other than the color of the decals, they are uh, absolutely no different. Uh, the entry door is anti-slam, and it has a little programmable deadbolt keypad on it, which is really handy because, like, if you do want to go for a bike ride or something like that. You can, uh, you know, not worry about your, your um, what do I want to say? Keys falling out of your pocket. <laughs> oh, I got a, oh man, they were sneaky with this stuff. I got a feeling me and these people would uh, get along just fine. Uh, yeah, if you recognize that sticker, there's a really good chance that you and me could be friends. <laughs> You see that big Max Air vent fan cover sticking up there. And in front of that skylight, you might notice a black thing on the roof uh, between that chimney pipe and the air conditioner. That is actually a solar prep plug. This is made before the solar package was standard on these Geo Pros. Uh, so if you are interested in doing some off-grid kind of camping, a little bit of boondocking, uh, it is prepped and capable to add a charge controller to add some panels up on the roof. Um, you might have noticed there's a black tank flush and an outside utility shower on the back. That is excellent, by the way. If uh, your neighbors like to have a giant roaring fire that they leave unattended, you can just kind of quietly uh, calm the fire down with your little outside shower. <laughs> Handy little seven foot wide body. Uh, makes this nice and easy to see around. Like if you've got a tow package SUV, let's say you've got like a 4,000 pound tow rating or above, you'll be able to handle this safely. And obviously the further above that mark you have, 
the more comfortably you'll be able to take care of it. And uh, holy cow, man. Just what a good looking trailer. Look at the sun gleaming off that thing. Even with my headache, I can appreciate that. Now remember, if you like taking a look at all these things when they come through, if you're in the market for something or just looking for a little lighthearted entertainment, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it if you take a second to like our video and leave me a couple comments. Let me know what you think about the old girl. Or if you're looking for something, let me know. I'll scan our inventory, shoot you a link if we got anything. Short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and have an A1 day, everyone.